This is the first of our lessons for the audio recording program Audacity. Audacity is easy to use. It has many powerful features and it's absolutely free. This is a good program to learn because many Carondelet teachers include it as part of their assignments. Plus, using it is just plain fun. So let's begin our lesson by opening Audacity. Go down to the Start button in Windows, click on All Programs, here's Audacity, and now it's open. The buttons we're going to be looking at mostly today are these right up here across the top. The little green triangle is the Play button. The red circle is the Record button. The two little blue lines is the Pause button. And the yellow square is the Stop button. This is the uh, go to beginning or go to beginning button over here and go to end button over here. I will click on the red button so my wonderful wife can record a short monologue to demonstrate how the record feature works in Audacity. Thank you. When I record my voice, the sounds show as waveforms. Those are the blue patterns appearing on the soundtrack as I speak. When making a test recording such as this one, Adjust the volume level so the waveforms are not too large or too small. They should be just about the size of the ones you see here. Now I will return the microphone to my wonderful husband. Well, thank you. You should click on the yellow square to stop the recording. Then you should listen to the recording to see how it sounds. So let's do that by clicking on the green arrow. You're looking for sound levels that are not too high, not too low but just write and listen for background noises to see if there's anything there that should be uh, removed or if you should re-record. Thank you. When I record my voice, the sounds show as waveforms. Those are the blue patterns appearing on the soundtrack as I speak. When making a test recording such as this one, adjust the volume level so the waveforms are not too large or too small. They should be just about the size of the ones you see here. Now I will return the microphone to my wonderful husband. Okay, that sounds really good. We're just about ready to save this. Before we save this file, let's try a little editing. You can edit this very easily. You just click and drag on the area you wish to delete. Then you press the delete key on the keyboard. So I'm going to do this at the end of the file. And then I'm going to move down to the beginning of the file and pick a little area here to delete. And once those are deleted, we can now save the file. To save the recording, go up to File, and as you look down, you'll see where it says Save Project or Save Project As. You can do this if you want to work on this again later, but uh, this will not save this in a form where anyone else can use it. So go down to Export as Wave. This way you'll be able to save this uh, for posterity or for putting in some other files, giving to your teacher or whatever. So let's. Uh, Call this one audio file three. And save it. So let's go back and look and see what we do if the volume is too high, too low, or something is amiss with the volume. Uh, to change the volume level here, you just click up or down and find the proper level. Sometimes this will not work too well. The volume usually is too low, not too high. Another thing you might need to do is go down to the volume control, the speaker control on Windows. When you get on that, do a right mouse click, go to recording devices, click on that, find your microphone. I have two here. You probably have one. If you do have two, look for the little green arrow here and click on that microphone. That's the one that's active. Click on levels and check out your levels and send the other um, the program microphone levels. Okay, that's good. Say okay, okay. If you have background noises or other problems, uh, usually the thing to do is to find a different microphone or find a different quieter location to record in. That's about all you can do to solve those problems. So this is the end of our first lesson on Audacity. All that's left to do is for you to uh, practice, maybe Listen to the lesson one more time in case there's something that you forgot how to do. And uh, make your volume adjustments and whatever you need to do. So when your teacher asks you to record something, 
you'll say, oh yeah, I know how to do that, and begin recording. <laughs>